And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Nightfall. This deck was really powerful whenever we played it earlier in the week. And, and you know, it felt like a really strong deck. Uh, basically, just, just these cards are all just really good all of the time. From Make It Rain, really down to, to Gangplank down here. Um, just, just straight across. Like we're playing a Bilgewater heavy, de heavy deck with Yordle Grifter in here. But then playing these new Shadow Owl cards that are awesome. Stalking Shadows, Unspeakable Horror, Doom Beast. These cards are all just flat out awesome. Um, we're, if you remember, we had two Rekindlers in here that we talked about it afterwards, maybe replacing with Zap Sprayfin. That's what I'm going to do. That's going to help Yordle Grifter's Allegiance. And I love Zap Sprayfin being able to grab Stalking Shadows. I think that's awesome. But then, of course, all these other really great cards, too. So we got a ton of Nexus damage. Um, you know, Warning Shot, Make It Rain, Unspeakable Horror, Doom Beast, uh, Misfortune, all those things. Of course, Yordle Grifter making Warning Shot. Uh, Gangplank, whenever Gangplank's leveled up. We got so much Nexus damage in here. We got so much power. We got Riptide Rex at the top end, which, as we all know, that card is just absolutely incredible. This deck's just really, really good. Um, the, the only thing is, like, we only have one one drop, so we don't always have a, a turn one play, and just our two two drops, we don't always have a turn two play, so we're not always the fastest deck. But as we found out, even if we don't have, like, the stuff on turn one or turn two, saving the spell mana for these spells is still just fine so we're going to go ahead and uh, go and play this deck over in ranked we're going to go play five games over there but you never know we're gonna play out the games let's see how we do pretty awkward hand doom beast of course isn't really a great turn three play so just kind of an awkward hand altogether um may just mulligan everything yeah, we'll just mulligan everything. Let's look for a new one. Alright, this looks better. This is probably... Maybe this is a mistake by me. Okay, so basically I went with turn one Jagged Butcher so that I was I'd be able to attack with Jagged Butcher and so they have like Starlet Seer. They can't just play that and block. But maybe I'm supposed to just play pl play nothing, play Jagged Butcher on turn two, so that then we can Unspeakable Horror also on turn two, and kill the Teemo. We're just good, so we're going to draw Make It Rain. Um, and I'm just going to play the Make It Rain first, because in case we miss Teemo, then we would have Unspeakable Horror. I did think about going Petty Officer. Never know what hit him. Looking for trouble? It found you. Hmm. And getting the powder keg. Definitely thought about that. I will absolutely trade Misfortune for Puff Cat Peddler. Puff Cat Peddler is incredible. Perfect. And I love getting the Peddler out of here because all they had to do is play one spell with Peddler and play to level up Teemo. Possible to have another Teemo. Ugh, another Peddler. <clears throat> that could be bad news. Okay, looks like we're going to go grab a Powder Keg. Never 
No, so yeah, we don't. Yeah, we didn't have pill, ca pill cascade. We had unspeakable horror. We couldn't save misfortune. Round six, you say. Let's get to it. I'm not gonna let him play a set 20 first. And I am perfectly fine with that. Again, getting Puff Cat Peddler out of here is goal number one. I just think it's so good. That's a nice little upgrade. There's Pill Cascade. Troll Chan, another way to protect Teemo. Man, Puff Cap Peddler is so good. We have all these Puff Caps. We dying. All right, we're gonna stalking shadows first, so that we uh, can get one of the mana back with the tune. Our deck's so good. <laughs> like, look at all the stuff we still have. We have eight cards in hand. And we've just been curving out and, like, playing a bunch of removal and a bunch of good threats. And we still have eight cards in hand. These Shadow House cards are really good. Okay, so obviously one option is just open Riptide Rex. Sejuani is like the only card that's going to defeat us, right? Like if I just go open Riptide Rex, maybe they play Sejuani. I now don't have like the best attacks. Could just go double Yordle Grifter. What are you, Dusk Rider? You're a 5-5? Five -five? Okay, maybe I thought too much about it. Man, Petty Officer's good. Yeah, the, I liked the Leona Karma deck. I, that was the best Karma deck that I've played in a long time. And so for those of y'all that like playing Karma, that would probably be the version of Karma that I would recommend. Or the day before. Whichever one it was. Put some down to three. I think we'll be fine. Them at three. I think we went two and three. Yeah, we, we went two and three. We ran into three. All of our losses were like the same to, like, you know, to bilge water decks that had really good hands. It was just kind of losing to the same thing um, each game. But I feel this is guaranteed 3 damage. So I guess that's the reason to do it, because they're at 3. Alright, 1 and 0. Oh. But they won't all be that easy. They won't all play out that well for us.
I mean, Sprayfin's all awesome also. All these cards are awesome. I'm just going to keep them. Sure, we don't have anything to do on turn 1 or turn 2. But we have awesome cards. So that probably counts for something. And we'll catch up. We can use the spell mana later. We'll save you, Dreadway Deckhand. I don't need you right now. I should have got Powder Keg. I cannot turn back. Burn away doubt. Face your heretic. So I do want to play this unspeakable horror right now. Because <clears throat> I want to have the extra I want to be able to attune with Zap Spray Finn and get that extra card. And get that extra mana. Keep up, keep up. Oh, I burned a Riptide Rex. That's not so bad. With this stuff. Everything in our deck is card advantage. Basically. At least that's what it, that's what it really feels like. So since everything's basically card advantage and we are, um, you know, we have such a full hand, I'm just going to be trading. <clears throat> You're just going to try to keep keep on trading. Do you need to get cards out of my hand because I have too many? There's plenty of killing left. Oh, was, was was one of the dogs just scratching the carpet? Or something? I'm sorry, I didn't even notice. Equinox, silence this mentor of the stones. Though it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> so my plan is to, to silence the mentor of the stones. But I'm going to attack first because they probably will not block with mentor of the stones because I think they want to pump up the Diana and give it another plus two plus two. So if I silence first, then they just obviously just block with the 1-1 one, one somewhere. <clears throat> now we got them not to block. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Safety will No, we finally missed. With our Yordle Grifter. So Shadow Owl's card on top. Down to ten. Moonlight guide me. Sure. Scratched. 
<clears throat> and it's going to be Riptide Rex turn. Will be our second Riptide Rex. Remember, one got burned earlier. That's gonna be our second one. They need to speed up this animation. Not make it as, as loud and kind of speed it up. It takes like 20 30 seconds for just the animation of a card. It's too long. Um, you know, one. forgot they were Ionia and Lee Sin. We hadn't really been seeing any Ionia. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. We're looking good. There's Lee Sin. The Dragon Spirit Turn 9, right? Yes. So 10 mana. So we can look for another Riptide Rex with this. That's what we're going to do to start with. We get a Doom Beast. We will take a Doom Beast. I don't really know why I cast that warning shot right then. That was really not necessary casting the warning shot whenever I did. They're going the overwhelm, overwhelm Lee Sin. That is pretty cool. Cordex playing the Thresh Darius from earlier, the Darius Thresh. And we were talking about how if it would be good against uh, Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Speaking of Trundle, Aurelian Soul, here we go. If the, the Darius Thresh would be good against that deck. We weren't exactly sure. And uh, you're saying that you're playing against a bunch of Aurelian Soul Trundle with the Darius Thresh, and and the matchup's not bad for you. All right, do these? I guess I'm looking at the two mana spells, right? Like we don't need like little damage on units with those, right? With this matchup, maybe. Okay, maybe we do. <laughs> So, Darius Thresh, you have found your worst matchup to be scouts with that. Okay. Ranger's Resolve is always tough. I'm not sure about that no attacks against the Misfortune deck. I mean, I got, I got Misfortune on my card back. All right, so we fought through their opening pretty well. We we both have four cards in hand, but we have a misfortune in play. So we fought through the opening fairly well. So no eight plus cost cards, no regeneration. So it's just a generic three five. I'm not greedy. My friends. Ugh, we missed. I was not playing around Avalanche, as you can tell. 
I do think the best play is attacking in with everything. Obviously, they're going to block Misfortune. But that gets another three damage in. And they were going to... They would be able to kill one thing anyway, so... We'll just let that one thing be Misfortune and just continue to get more damage. And I think that's important. Because we got Warning Shot, Riptide Rex will do some damage, Stalking Shadow will go find us some stuff. Let's go. Let's go right to attacks. Get some damage in. Maybe have Powder Keg Warning Shot. Mm. So they're going to go to six. Star Shapings are keeping them alive for now. Yeah, Genevieve Elmhart is just incredible. Genevieve Elmhart is a, a champion. Okay, drain four. Just turn my Dreadway deck hands into warning shots, basically. And I don't regret it. Don't regret it one bit. They're going to take four, down to three. We'll see what they can do with this ten mana. That's a card. And then they get a blocker. Okay, that was a good one. It's attack first. Hello, good terror. Let's rock. No, it did not hit. There's Doom Beast. All right, two and three no. <laughs> three no. Grifter was the higher upside, and the downside is just not killing a two two. And I guess not killing a two two isn't really not that important. So maybe it was just the upside that Grifter had that. Should have just attacked with that, or uh, played that first. We will have time to play Stalking Shadows. We'll just keep it. See, good thing we kept it. With a mulligan, we would not have drawn Butcher. That's how it works. It's probably not how it works, but... We are taking five damage before Avalanche. We're not going to play Misfortune before Avalanche. Well, let's see. Maybe we do. Okay, so I can attack for five. That's awesome. They could have... Yeah, we actually play Misfortune first. Obviously, if they have Avalanche. I do four damage instead of five. So we do one less damage. Okay. But if their plan is like Catalyst of Aeons, 
Which is definitely possible. Or just like a, a blocker. We could get more damage in by, by playing the Misfortune. Now this is kind of... I don't know. I'm a little scared playing the spray fin. I want to just go and try to get five damage in again. Alright, use spell mana first before we attune. Take Yordle Grifter. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Hmm. Whiffed. The War Mother will unite us all. All of us? We should definitely level up this game plank. Our banner will lead the way. So four out of five. I haven't gotten multiple Riptide Rex. At least this game, you know, we have before. There's a bunch of Doom Beast. So nine mana. I guess Ruination's a thing. Just gonna keep getting damage in. This one is ephemeral. Played the warning shot first because of nightfall. So many Doom Bees. For the thrill of battle. So many Doom Bees. Safety will cost you. What's up, Big Alfredo? Hope life's treating you well. Today we fight as one. As one? Nightfall kind of like plunder, yeah. Let's see, that's it. If they have Ruination on their mind, it will kill the 9 9 Trindomir. Now, so that's good. Alright, let's save one of these things.
And we're going to attacks before they can play another avalanche. You know, we had the Jagged Butcher, but we want to go to attacks first. You'll need more than that. Okay. Got Trindamir out of here. I feel good about a longer game. Um, sure, we can go hang out now. So, one of these Doom Beasts is ephemeral. That one. Alright, played this thing to block. Powder keg. And then round start, we get another powder keg. And of course, we're just going right to attacks. <clears throat> this should be able to finish this out with double Doom Beast, warning shot, this, like. I would think we we're we were going to be finish, finishing this out. I would think so. Not the best you got. All right. Well. Impossible. Not over yet. All right, eight. Let's see what we get. I kind of feel like we're going to get Riptide Rex. Yep. Stalking Shadows with Riptide Rex. That is silly. All right, four and oh. And Trundle up to Aurelian Soul now. We just played against, yeah, we just played against this two games ago. Trundle, Aurelian Soul, that is. Oh, I like all these cards, but I kind of want a one or a two drop. But Unspeakable Horror replaced itself, Stalking Shadow replaced itself. Oh, let's just get rid of Warning Shot. I don't know why we would keep Warning Shot. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Digimons. Yeah, we doing good today. I mean, it's Rank Up Sunday. Playing some good decks. Some good deck hands as well. Uh, I don't know if Swain Twisted Fate's the best deck. It's it's a very popular deck and it's and it's good. I think I want Petty Officer. And then also, like if we're going Petty Officer, are we going, you know, powder keg or non-powder keg? Basically because of Avalanche, we gotta go just straight to combat. Oh, the options. We'll go Yoro Grifter instead. Lame. Dang, they're gonna be ramping so hard. They already played Cattle Savions. Now this, so round five, they have eight mana. All right, drain two. Oh, I didn't get my nightfall. Ah, I should have played this warning shot. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm just going to be playing this anyway and getting Jagged Butcher as a 3-3. Really, my question is Petty Officer or Misfortune again. Who 
fortune favors the bold. Hmm. That could be a big mistake. You know, like that Nightfall card, you know, could be a Doom Beast. Could have been that, you know, that could have made a huge difference. That could be the mistake that keeps me from getting a 5 0 for sure. But we'll see, they got so much mana, an extra, <laughs> an extra 5 mana. Again, this turn. Wow, they are willing to take damage. And that is why. A Nightfall card could be important. We'll have to see. Double Riptide Rex or Double Doom Beast? Probably Double Riptide Rex. We have an 8-cost card. Hey, Quincy. Oh, even worse. Oh, this is bad. To the bone. Keep up, keep up. Hello, Rune Terra. Hey, Reeling Soul. I gotta get damage on this thing. I do love an audience. Wow. Wow. Is it does spell shield mean they they just can't even be targeted? That's what it's feeling like right now. Feeling like spell shields saying it can't even be targeted. <laughs> um, they're they're both very strong and very good, Dan. Either, either one, this or Darius Thresh, they're you know similar decks. Whichever one you you like more, I I'd be very confident in ranking up with with both of these two decks. I don't think there's a better. Between the two, three, six, nine. Puts him down to three. Soul levels up. Uh, they're both the both the decks are are about unspeakable horror and stalking shadows. They're both playing three of each of those. Both yeah, both decks have those cards. Those cards are awesome. Come on, Rex, get him. No, down to four? It's like not even hurting them. Both these two decks were donation decks from Cabo. Actually, uh, Cabo, one of the viewers in chat that's that's always in here. Uh, both these two decks he donated for. Don't know how much that, uh, you know, I, I missed an, I should have another Nightfall card in hand. Remember that from earlier in the game. We don't know how much that's going to really hurt us. We don't know what that card could have been. You know, could have been Doom Beast or something. We just don't know.
Never mind. Leveled up Aurelian Soul too good. Two Riptide Rexes. We had... So that Aurelian Soul, we blocked with a three power unit. It also blocked a three power unit. Um, so it took six damage from those. And we played two Riptide Rexes. And we and that Aurelian Soul still had five health. <laughs> we just did not... Those Riptide Rexes did not do any damage. The first one literally did, did no damage. The, the second one did two damage. We just did not do any damage to that Aurelian Soul. Um... Yeah, solid four one. I don't. I mean, we we won that matchup before. We you know we won won it and then we lost it. I mean, I don't think that's necessarily like a a bad matchup. You know, like that's that you know you're not going to win everything, and uh, it's probably a pretty close matchup. But um, you know, they won one, we won one. Um, but yeah, a very solid four one. It took a whole lot to defeat us. You know, like leveled up a really in soul is basically what it took to defeat us. <laughs> this deck. It, it feels really good. It feels just all these cards are awesome. Unspeakable Horror and Stalking Shadows, both awesome. Definitely love Stalking Shadows with Riptide Rex. That's really cool. Um, yeah, just good stuff in here. A lot of good stuff. Um, yeah, it's not... I mean, level of gameplay is not really that important. It's This deck can, can grind for a long time, you know, with with all the card advantage that it has. And you just have Gangplank that's just an awesome threat that sometimes you just play Gangplank turn 5 and beat down with Gangplank. Um, leveling up champions is not like the be-all, end-all just in general. I think that's something that most people overrate whenever they're looking at decks and they're choosing cards for decks is they overrate the leveling up champions instead of just playing amazing cards that will kill your opponent. And that's what our deck's doing, is just playing all amazing cards. <clears throat> um. Alright, so there we go. So that's Gangplank Nightfall. Alright, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.